And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. And once again, look at Skycam, look at those clear skies over our air right now. You see here, pitch perfect blue sky, well black skies over air right now. And also the Rossville Cam, similar, similar situation once again. And as we do head through the rest of your day today, expecting those clouds to increase as we're expecting this low pressure system out to our west to move our way. You notice all these clouds here in the nation's midsection right now. This will move our way again later this afternoon and into this evening. But out to our south, we see that high pressure that's been bringing us that beautiful weather the last few days. That'll be moving off to our east as we do expect those rain changes to arrive by early tomorrow morning. But for now, temperatures are generally in the 30s all across the board. 39 degrees here in Lafayette, some 40s also on our map as well. 43 degrees here in Monticello, 46 up here in Rochester, our one spot this morning, and 36 down here in Frankfurt. So overall, it is quite a chilly morning, so if you're heading out, you're going to need that jacket as you head out the door this morning. Temperatures this afternoon, though, will be quite warm. Temperatures reaching the upper 60s to maybe around 70 for some locations down here in our southwestern portions of, of our viewing area. Expecting a very warm afternoon, definitely feeling much more like early October rather than mid-November. Temperatures again today reaching upper 60s, 68 degrees will be your high for today, with those certainly winds kicking in from the south throughout the day. It'll be quite breezy with those clouds increasing as well, becoming overcast by this evening as that system does approach. And tomorrow, expecting uh, opposite of today, expecting some rain in your morning. I expect to, expect to start the day with some showers with that west-southwest wind and notice the winds quickly shift off to the north as a cold front will come through during the morning hours tomorrow, dropping those temperatures throughout the day. Notice by 6, 5 o'clock temperatures only around 48 degrees compared to 56 degrees in the morning. So overall, temperatures will be dropping throughout the day on Friday, which I'll show you later in a future forecast with that rainfall. And then today, again, expecting lots of sunshine, no issues at all if you're heading out the door. Throughout the afternoon and evening, those clouds begin to increase by 7.30 tonight becoming overcast for our area. And then showers changes begin to increase by later tonight. Notice the clock 2 a.m. A few showers moving through Lafayette. That will continue through 5 a.m. Becoming more widespread, especially for our eastern counties. And then seeing those rain changes, rain changes continue throughout the morning. And they do dry out for the afternoon with those clouds also pulling out of here by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And you do clear it out for your Friday night. And then going to your Saturday, expecting another beautiful day as high pressure will move back in. Bring in some beautiful conditions for not just for Saturday, also for Sunday, but watch this. Going to Monday, notice this low pressure system out to our southwest. This will bring in some rain come late Monday into Tuesday as our next system does arrive. Bring in quite a wet day for your area for Tuesday. So if you're traveling next Tuesday for Thanksgiving, looking at a wet setup for you, especially in our in, in our state and pretty much all around us as well. Notice this cold front out to our west. This will slide through here Tuesday night into Wednesday ushering in colder weather, especially said Tuesday night and into Wednesday, expecting the temperatures dropping down into the 40s by then and see those colder temperatures sticking around through the rest of that time period. And also notice here, another system out to our west, this will come our way Friday night into Saturday, bringing rain and possibly some snow to our area for next weekend, which could have some impacts on travel if you're traveling once again next weekend. And again, today expecting to be a beautiful day. 68 degrees, you'll be right for today. Windy conditions, showers likely early tomorrow, and then we'll dry it out tomorrow afternoon and those temperatures will drop during the afternoon tomorrow, so make sure you're aware of that. Temperatures also dropping down only into the 50s for Saturday, 55 on Sunday, rain chances return late Monday into Tuesday, becoming likely on Tuesday, rain likely that day. And then some, any leftover moisture we have from the system Tuesday night may change over to snow by Wednesday morning. So any precipitation that we do have in our area may accumulate on the ground. And then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week, much colder with rain and snow possible again by next Saturday. All right, well, we're going to get close to the 70s today. That's incredible. Nice and sunny. This is like window down weather. If you're in your car, roll down your windows. If you're at home, open up the windows. It's going to be like just that perfect kind of room temperature, right? Yeah, definitely. It's going to feel much more like spring rather than like what you typically would see in November with those cold temperatures, mm -hmm. feeling really chilly. You get the hot cocoa. Yes. But we know we're near that for today. It's not feeling like November, but you say it's not, not going to feel like this again. It could be not for a long time. Yeah, probably mm -hmm. not, like, especially with this time of the year. Like we're starting to get less and less of those warm days and yeah. more and more of those cold days. So definitely this may be the, the last warm day we do get in the wild until possibly next March or April. Yeah, you can absolutely see it trending in that direction. All right. Thanks, Eric.